if people are going to look at me, then I might as well give them something to look at. Today, I'm going to transform from alternative pixie to elegant glam. I'm nervous about, will I be able to pull it off? I barely recognize my own face. I will be revealing my transformation today to my partner, John. <laughs> wow, it's so different, babe. So my makeup look today is what I would call a fey look. It's quite fairy tale, quite ethereal, um, with a lot of gold. So my style, I would describe it as goblin core, usually quite fantasy or Viking or tribal inspired. I adore putting looks together. And when I wear makeup like this, I feel really pretty. My favorite outfits are a lot like the one that I've got on today. I think I have thousands of pieces of jewelry. The types of clothes that I avoid are anything that's tight, pink. I don't wear dresses. I think I'm much more of a goblin than I am a human. Today, I'm going to transform from alternative pixie to elegant glam. And I am really excited to see what that looks like. Carrie Brunette, I've never had a natural hair colour. Will I be able to pull it off? I do not wear high heels. Probably going to fall over in them. That's very bling. Wow, that is pink. I've never worn anything like that. Absolutely and utterly terrified. I don't even know how you operate this dress. I was quite a large girl growing up and I became very unhappy and I started a diet and thought that I was being really healthy and it went on and I lost weight and I felt good until one of my friends said to me, you need to go to hospital. And I was under five stone, like I was severely ill. I was so looked after by the hospital that I'm still here today. I definitely do still struggle with body image. I think if I end up wearing something that shows my body more, that might be tough. It might be a shock and a challenge, but you know, that's what we're here for, right? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, come in. Can I come in, thank yeah. you. So the colour scheme, I'm going to be going for a real soft palette, so champagnes, golds, just everything that's going to be complementary to make her sparkle. I'm quite nervous. I'm sure you want to film me taking my nose piercings out. <laughs> no, I mean, do you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot of fingers up my own nose kind of thing, which is... Amazing, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. So we're going to start by just removing the embellishment that B has beautifully applied. I feel quite vulnerable. It's been so long since I've seen myself without any ink. Ready for the makeup? Ready for the makeup. Let's go. I've chose to go for a real kind of classic pillar box red. Okay, so we're gonna get the wig and okay. we're gonna start applying that so we can see the final look all together. How do you feel? Nervous. Getting closer. Mm. You look great. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Ready? I think I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's very, very different to any way I've ever looked before. You know, it's it's quite pretty. It's it's 
Very, very elegant. I barely recognize my own face. I am revealing my look to my partner, John, who has never seen me dressed glamorously. I don't think he's gonna like the look. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, B's got a very distinct style. She's got a very good sense of herself. And so somebody else making her over will be quite interesting. Wow, it's so different, babe. You look hot. Oh, without the dreadlocks. I know. Oh, I miss them. That's a great thing through your curves. I think you underestimate how pretty you are, babe. Oh, stop. The look is great. It's probably for somebody else, not for my bee. I had a, a wonderful, wonderful experience doing this, this transformation. Such an eye-opening day. Something I would never, ever have done before. It's taught me quite a lot about how much I've come to really embrace my sense of style. Yep. Can I have my girlfriend back now? I think so. Cool.